Hey guys, David here. So, boosted boards arguably have the best remote out there, even today. And, but even us boosted riders have to admit that, yeah, you get a lot of performance with evolved boards, especially with more range and more power. And it, it, but also, we can't deny that the evolve remote uh, can be a pain point to many. Some saying that's needlessly complicated with being able to brake and accelerate with two separate controls instead of one control. You can't go in reverse. And the GT, GTX, and GTR boards have a plasticky remote that breaks easily when dropped that they just fixed with the Hadian. Some even say the Evolve remote is dangerous with GT, GTX, GTR, and some Hadian riders reporting getting thrown off their board at 20 plus miles an hour. Well, no more. Today, we figured out how to use the boosted board remote on your Evolve Hadian as well as your Evolve GTR. And you can now use it with full reverse full brake, check your battery percentage, change ride modes, and pretty much use it exactly how you would if your Evolve was a boosted board. First, make sure that your board is a Hadian or a GTR. It will not work on anything older than a GTR. So if you have a GT or GTX, those will not work because the RF technology is different. The Hadian and the, uh, the, and the GTR specifically use Bluetooth technology, which is what is found inside the boosted board remotes. So here's how to pair them. First, you want to power on your board first. So make sure, again, it's a GTR or a Hadian. Then power on your boosted board remote. Then click the power button five times. There we go, to enter pairing mode. And so now it should connect pretty pretty instantly to your Hadian or to your GTR. The remote should chime once again, indicating that you are now paired to your board. If you're a boosted rider, all of this you should already know, or if you don't know, then stick around. And if you're an Evolve rider, this is the stuff that will become new to you and this is what's gonna take a little time for you to get used to. Now that you have a scroll wheel, uh, rolling this forwards will take you forward, and rolling this backwards is not just brake, but will actually send your wheels going backwards at full speed. Uh, which we, as boosted board riders, we love that because we just have like really, really strong brakes, and we can also back up if we overshot the line a little bit. Um, so that might take some getting used to. You also need to make sure that the dead man switch over here is always engaged. Let me see if I can get that focus on the camera. Uh, so there's a switch over here. You want to make sure that the switch is always engaged when you're intending to go forwards and backwards. I know the dead man switch kind of looks and feels and works differently on your GTR remote. So that's what you need to know when you're switching to this. In order to change the ride mode, all you need to do is click the power button three times. And so it will cycle through all five ride modes with mode one being safe mode, mode two being eco, mode three, pro, four is GTR, and five is custom. When changing the ride mode, the remote will also tell you based off how many times that it chimes as well. At this time, it's worth mentioning that you should configure all your custom settings in the remote right now before you change the boosted board remote. I know you can just kind of go back and forwards now, but it just, less of a hassle if you just set up all that stuff now and then when you have it connected to your boosted board remote, you pretty much never have to bring your GTR remote with you anymore. And plus, there's no screen on the boosted board remote, uh, which does make it durable, but it also makes it impossible to change uh, some custom features or look at things like your battery cells and to see what your cell by cell voltages are. If for some reason the remote is not pairing to your GTR, uh, then it's probably because your board is actually confused because it's paired to your GTR remote. Um, so if it's close by in the room, even though it's not on, your, your board will try to pair with it. And so this is where you can do one of a couple things, um, but both of them basically result in the same thing. You're trying to make it difficult for it to connect to your remote. So the first solution is to just set it far away because Bluetooth only has a limited distance to connect. So just put it somewhere around, I don't know, 60 feet away and then go try it and then that should work. Alternatively, uh, if you just want to block out the RF waves, then what you can do is just wrap your remote in tinfoil 
and then you should be good because theoretically you shouldn't be it shouldn't be able to transmit any signals if it's if it's trapped inside of the tin foil so that's another way to block out the signals if you want to be able to connect your boosted board remote to your Hadian or your GTR without any troubles. And honestly, that should be it. I mean, right now, I think you're all set to just go out, ride safe, wear a helmet, and just have an amazing time. If you have any troubleshooting tips, I know this is very recent research, so uh, we probably have some bugs that we haven't documented yet and things like that. So if there are any issues, then definitely let us know, um, especially with connecting, because connecting is probably the, the most difficult part, but once you got it, then you're good to go. So uh, if you need help with any of that, including getting your board connected to your boosted board remote, definitely let us know in the Discord down below. Come join us and then we'll, we're more than happy to walk you through the entire process. Uh, anyway, I'm in your surgeon in residence, David at XR General Hospital and ride safe, always wear a helmet and yeah, have an amazing time. Mm -hmm.